So next in task four, we will review the default monitoring settings of Azure Virtual Machines. So let's go back to the Virtual Machines and open the VM0 and scroll down. So under monitoring section, you will see metrics. Click on metrics. And here we can see the available metric namespace, which is only the virtual machine host. And uh, we can enable the um, guest memory metrics later in this task. So for now, we have only available metric namespace is virtual machine host. And uh, there are many um, metric available. So here I'm going to select percentage CPU and uh, the aggregation is average. So with this matrix, we can see the usage of uh, CPU, which is 10.0760 percentage. So similarly, we can check the metric for a disk network, all those things. So next we'll see task five. So in this task, we will um, see how to configure Azure Virtual Machine diagnostic settings. So click on diagnostic settings under monitoring and uh, enable guest level monitoring. Okay, let's wait for the deployment to be complete. Okay, so the deployment is complete. So let's click on performance counter and we see uh, by default uh, CPU, memory, disk and network is enabled. So you can go to custom to see more option. And next we can switch to the logs tab so here by default the application level critical error and uh, warning all these are uh, selected and under security we see audit failure and for system events critical error warning so these options are selected by default So next, uh, let's check uh, logs under the monitoring section. Okay, I'm not going to save it. Click OK. So under logs, let's enable it. So let's select the log analytics workspace that we have created and enable it okay so the deployment is succeed now let's go to metrics under monitoring section and click on metric namespace now we see additionally guest classic option is available in addition to the virtual machine host this is expected because um, we have enabled uh, guest level diagnostic settings so let's select um, guest classic here and um, under metric let me select um, memory available bytes and uh, the aggregation max okay so anyway we don't see anything here 
and next we'll see task 6 to review the azure monitor functionality